Okay, so I've been taking video all day, tried to delete a set of images, because this camera takes images in a set, and proceeded to delete all the video that I took. Yep, but it was great. It was great video. It was amazing stuff that you will never see. Well, unless you come here to Ireland. It was really great, and I'm sorry that um, it's gone. Yep. Hello again. We are back from our second day, kind of taking a break, a little breather break, uh, before we go to Irish dancing, which we are excited about. Uh, and also very uh, anxiety ridden because we're a bunch of weird nerds that don't like to participate in shows. <laughs> we had a great second day because we were walking, not driving. And we have seen many things and I apologize, the footage is gone. I am more upset than anything. I actually got some good stuff. Uh, quite possibly the best library in the world. Just like a phenomenal library. So the first thing first, we got up and we went to breakfast at this super fancy hotel, which by the way, I am not fancy. <laughs> so this is all new experiences for me. We're from rural Virginia. <laughs> yeah, we're from rural Virginia where we don't got Jack Doodley's quad. <laughs> and when people were like, do you want an extra cup of tea and a fried egg at your continental breakfast, that's when you know you are in a fancy place. We had breakfast, we took our time, you of course have to do a scone and if you get the chance to get clotted cream, you can put it on there with some jam and you mush it all together. Uh, unfortunately there was no clotted cream at fancy restaurant. I guess that's more of an more of an English thing perhaps? Probably. Yeah. We uh, used a real map, again because our phones are not working, and we use this map to guide us <laughs> to, our, to our locations. And we went first to uh, Trinity College, which I highly recommend doing as early as possible in the morning because once we were done kind of going through it, there were already crowds and crowds of people and lines to things that we just walked in. So go as early as possible. I think it opens up at nine. nine By the way, Caitlin's over there, sorry. Yeah, I'm a ghost today. Yeah. And we arrive at Trinity College and you go through this awesome old oak door and there's tourists, of course, already there planting themselves. And then we walked up to the like middle building, which takes you to the Book of Kells, which is what I wanted to see. Well, last time I was in Ireland, I actually got a concussion. And when I had my concussion, the like tour guide person that was like in charge of me, because I went as a kid, they took me to the doctor. And after I went to the doctor, they took me to this church where I think the Book of Kells was like on tour or something, because I saw, I think, an illuminated manuscript, and I think it was the Book of Kells, although I, it's very blurry, and I don't really remember it well. And then I went back to tell Caitlin, who was also on the trip with me, and she was like, nah, don't believe you. Actually, <laughs> because you were still concussed, I went with your story, <laughs> but I didn't believe you. That's what you have to see, and it it is, beautiful and intricate and amazing and even if you can't really read it the little blurbs around the place are very interesting it's just amazing also just learning that these people spent so much time detailing the like little knots and i highly recommend the movie the secret of kells if you haven't watched it that'll get you in the mood for the book of kells if you're going then upstairs immediately after you see the book of kells trinity library, it library. yeah it's a library it is beautiful just breathtakingly beautiful um it's everything that you want in a library it's like rounded columns there are ancient books on the sides there are ladders like beauty and the beast library there are statues of famous people not all of them irish but some i think relating to just language itself like shakespeare it, it, it was amazing and if i have a choice in where i die like a slow death that's where I want. To, that's where I want to be. Just like surrounded by Trinity Library as I die. I think that'll be lovely. Slowly, we left that slowly because I don't think we wanted to leave. It's just that great of a place. We decided that we would just kind of walk around Dublin, and I highly recommend it because we kind of found some stuff that was pretty cool. We walked up streets 
that I don't remember the names of. <laughs> you can figure it out yourself. And we went to the Dublin Castle. We did not go in the castle because it cost money, but we walked around it. And I think in doing so, we actually found cooler stuff. There was this awesome, uh, like, auto, automative music, mu musical? Music box. Music thing. box thing that played the emotions of tweets. And so, like, it, like, somehow calculated tweets that were being put out and the emotions attached to them and played a song relating to that. And so there was, like, happiness, frustration, sadness, 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 happiness, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. There were even these awesome Egyptian love poems on papyrus and hieroglyphs that were the oldest love poems ever found. They were just sitting there. Awesome, cool place, especially if you're a nerd about writing and reading, which I am. Then... We were hungry at that point, so we meandered and found our way to Temple Bar, which is, I think, the most famous bar in Dublin. It's massive and awesome. I loved it. I don't know if you can go during dinner, but definitely go during lunch. Um, it's chill. It's relaxed. It's got these alcoves and rooms and just tile. We were sitting in this, like, kind of... I guess it was outside, but it was covered. It was, yeah, it was like an outdoor, almost like garden patio thing. <laughs> Yeah, like but surrounded was... by walls. And uh, there was like ivy growing on the sides. And there's like the temple bar, but like sign behind us and people smoking. And we're at an iron table. It was awesome. But our waiter struggled. It struggled in the department of time management. Oh, bad for him. <laughs> I did. He seemed really flustered. <laughs> he was very flustered. He, I guess he was working from 10 a.m. to 3 a.m., which is a really long and stressful shift, and I can totally understand that. But he just seemed a little just overrun already, and it was probably noon. <laughs> and probably another thing, too, is in America, you are like your living is dependent on how well you serve because of your tips as a waiter yeah as a waiter um but in ireland you don't tip and he like told us that he's like oh no don't tip me because i i don't want to take your money <laughs> which i probably pretty awkward so we did not tip <laughs> but he was just kind of slower which is fine we took our time eating and it was lovely but the table next to us like there were two different families that ate in the time that we ate. We had finally, at one point, we asked this uh, female waitress if she could go find this guy so that we could leave because, you know, we'd probably been sitting there without anything for like a good 15 minutes. And she's like, oh, that guy. He can barely handle one table. And I know, I know exactly who you're talking about. And that, poor, that poor guy, he's at like the most popular Dining location in Dublin. Like, how is he going to survive if he can really handle a few tables? We went on a bus tour. It was like the hop on, hop off bus tour, which I think we didn't really take full advantage of in the way that I think some other people might want to in that you get on early in the morning and you use that bus as your kind of public transportation. We walked. <laughs> we learned several things on the tour. Number one, a lot of death has occurred in Ireland. Number two, Ireland is a place of revolutions. Number three, kill, the word kill, K-I-L, means church. So we're gonna go to places in Ireland that are called like Kilkenny, and that means church. And finally, we uh, stopped, we did hop off, we stopped at a, um, the cemetery, and I think that's the rest of the day catalog. This is the cemetery that supposedly has 1.7 million people in it, more people than there are living in Dublin. People dead as far as the eye can see. Until now, yeah. where we are going to go to Irish River Dancing, and it's this cool place that's called the Celtic Night Show, I think, in a, on the like basement of the Arlington Hotel. And I'm excited about it. I am nervous because I hate being pulled up onto the stage of things. Yes, I am a teacher and talk in front of kids and middle schoolers, but I do not like doing that kind of stuff where they like pull you up and I have anxiety about it. I will end this video with the, just kind of some brief, hopefully some brief captures of the Irish River dancing. I will probably be enjoying myself, so it may not be a lot of stuff. But in the meantime, you should go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share, make me popular. <laughs> Please. Please. I'm just
kidding. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Love you.